Now, most forms of radiation are quite invisible to us. Cosmic rays, X-rays, infrared, ultraviolet, we can't see any of them. Nonetheless, they have their important impact on living things. Take ultraviolet. That has a dramatic effect on the model. And in the same way, it has a pretty dramatic effect on us too. Although we can't see it, it tans our skin. And more seriously, gives us skin cancer and cataracts of the eyes. So when we go out in the sun to protect against ultraviolet, we use sunscreens and dark glasses. Well, the Earth, too, has its pretty effective sunscreen layer. This is clear plastic, and it lets light through, so you might think it lets ultraviolet through, but have a look at the model again. As you can see, it blocks most of the ultraviolet very well. Not all of it, but most of it, and prevents it from reaching the model of the Earth. And in the same way, the ozone layer, high in the atmosphere, protects the Earth from most of the ultraviolet bombarding it. But what is the ozone layer? How does it protect us from ultraviolet, and why these days is it under attack? About one-fifth of the air we breathe is oxygen, and oxygen atoms get around in pairs. As a pair, this is known as an oxygen molecule, and it doesn't block ultraviolet. On the other hand, it does absorb energy, and radiation energy can be so strong that it splits a molecule into two atoms. Now, each of those is highly reactive, so much so that one of them can combine with a nearby oxygen molecule forming a molecule with three oxygen atoms, and that is an ozone molecule, and it does block ultraviolet. In the process, it absorbs enough energy from radiation to split an atom away, which may also combine with a nearby oxygen atom. So ozone is turned to oxygen, and oxygen is turned back to ozone. And for a long time, that's been going on at about a constant rate up in the ozone layer. Into the chlorofluorocarbons. What are they? Well, they're things like refrigerants and propellants and aerosol cans. They have a lot of uses and they escape into the atmosphere. Each one is a complicated molecule with a carbon base attached to which are atoms of different kinds, including chlorine. And ultraviolet breaks them up, splitting the chlorine atom away. Now that is highly reactive. And it reacts with ozone molecules, tearing off their free oxygen atom. While that forms a compound, it itself is broken up by ultraviolet, freeing the oxygen atom which can recombine with its original partner. So we have there a little factory, a chlorine atom steadily converting ozone, which blocks ultraviolet, to oxygen, which doesn't, and in the process, destroying the ozone layer. And it's worse than that, because these molecules are very stable. They'll hang around for more than 100 years. And all the time, those chlorine atoms are working away to destroy the Earth's natural sunscreen layer. I want to know. Curiosity. 